Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Liberty Challenge, and today we have Melody Time. It is Melody Time on the Disney Plus Liberty Challenge, and uh, yeah, we got, uh, you'll see here, some familiar faces. Donald Duck. Uh, this is just, that's just, uh, he appears in just one of seven different sh uh, animated shorts, although some of them are not completely animated. Some of them are live action, so there's... There's a lot of stuff to go through here. Everything from a very short little Flight of the Bumblebee, which is very, is one of my favorites. Just, I mean, beyond the song that uh, we all know, um, it's it's just animated in a very colorful, abstract, exciting way. And I really like it. Uh, that's easily one of my favorites. Um, Donald and Jose uh, appear in a uh, Samba uh, number. Um, as they have in all the other, you know, animated things that they've done, you know, the South American stuff when they uh, go traveling. Um, I can't think of what it is offhand right now. Sorry. Um, yeah, and there's, uh, gosh, it's just, there's, uh, it starts off with a wintertime uh, ice skating romantic tale uh, that's paralleled by a pair of bunnies. Two adult people are skating on ice, which becomes thin ice, which becomes trouble. And uh, these two bunnies are sort of mimicking what's going on. And it's all a romantic misunderstanding that leads the ladies into trouble. And the men are trying to rescue them. But it turns out to be the other forest animals and the horses that, that pulled the carriage that saved, that saved the, the lives of, uh, of the women. Uh, but the guys get credit for it. So, you know. Um, the, the big finisher... Uh, at the other end is a story of Pecos Bill, uh, actually told by uh, by Roy Rogers and Trigger. Um, that, there's an entire live action sequence that precedes that animated sequence. Of course, Pecos Bill. Uh, we talked about him in one of the movies we had a couple of weeks ago or months ago. God, I can't even remember. This is every day, so it goes by really fast. Um, Pecos Bill, if you don't already know, is an old West mythological fi figure who, uh, <laughs> he's sort of like the super Superman. And they even say that in one of the songs. He's the Superman of the old West, uh, where he's a, he's almost a godlike being and able to change how the world works. You know, he shoots out the stars. So there's only one star left to become the symbol for the Lone Star state of Texas. Um, there was a drought in Texas at one point, and he went to California to pull the rain from there and, you know, wet down Mexico. I'm uh, sorry, Texas. Uh, Texas. And then, but in, in, in result, it, it resulted in the formation of the, of the Gulf of Texas. So, yeah, uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Holy cow, I'm getting these mixed up. Whoa. <laughs> Gulf of Texas. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I'm a little scatterbrained right now. Sorry, but yeah, uh, it's it's uh, as as usual. It's it's just a series of good old fashioned classic uh, Disney um, animation, and each one it starts off with a paintbrush revealing who the the next performer would be. Uh, you know, it's Andrew's sisters or somebody. I forget his name. And the Pennsylvanians. It's, it's just. You know, a bunch of, it's, it's, it's the hot musicians, bands, big bands, and jazz, and, and samba, and everything else that existed before rock and roll. Uh, this is from 1948, so they've only got a few more years before uh, rock and roll becomes a thing. Uh, obviously, rock and roll in, in its mainstream form. Rock and roll in other forms have, have did exist throughout uh, uh, culture different cultures long before Elvis made it a thing through black culture so um yeah this is an hour and 16 minutes long so it's not really that long um it's a, a lot to pack in but I think uh the Roy Rogers sequence the Pecos Bill se sequence uh which tells his origin story which I didn't really know uh and his relationship to his horse widow maker um and uh, how he meets Sweet Sue and uh, the tension that's created between Widowmaker and Sweet Sue over the uh, perceived, uh, over the, the main affections of Pecos Bill. So uh, it makes for an int in, uh, interesting story. 
Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm struggling to think of some of the other section, the other, other uh, installments right now. My brain has just literally erased everything the moment I walked away from the TV, like not even 10 minutes ago. <sighs> Five minutes ago. Anyway, it's, it, for me to tell you what that is really isn't going to make you go, oh my gosh, I got now, now I gotta see it. Uh, I think uh, if you're interested in, in classic Disney animation uh, and classic music, just, just, you know, if you know who the Andrews sisters are. Oh, speaking of which, she, they do the, the song for Little Toot, which is one of the more popular pieces in this segment. It's telling the story of a little tugboat who gets into a whole lot of trouble screws up a lot of things and gets the scorn of the boating world, including his father, who's a proper tugboat, a grown-up tugboat. Um, but he's got a, he, he has, to, he goes on an adventure and, uh, tries to redeem himself in the eyes of everyone. So that's one you should probably, you know, make sure you check out. So that's one good reason to check this out, because like I said, the animation is, is varied and it's, it's, amazing and of course the sequence with the samba uh, interact just like they do with the other animated uh, films uh it mixes animation and live action together so which was had to be mind-blowing in the 1940s so um we're used to that kind of now <laughs> space jam um but yeah and roger rabbit so yeah let's uh i'd say you got to check it out it's uh, it's worth your time it's if you're especially if you're into the classics so uh yeah i didn't even know what, what to expect from it and uh, i was uh, pleasantly surprised and even though pecos bill is pretty much a trigger happy super psychopath you know it's still big and also kind of racist super racist se uh, se segment in there uh, you'll know it when you see it but uh, it involves Native Americans. Surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, you 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 still enjoy the the movie as a whole, even if that part is more than a little distasteful. So, anyway, let's pick tomorrow's. Ninety nine. And by the way, they, they do say that, you know, there are outdated cultural depictions in these films. So it it isn't a surprise. It isn't a surprise. Uh, it, we're never going to get uh, Song of the South. But in this case, um, oh, wow. I just saw what we have for our next film. And uh, I get those glasses back. Uh, number 99 is Chicken Little. Chicken Little. So, uh, yeah. Let's check that out. It's, uh, I had, the other day I was wearing some, uh, 3D, green 3D glasses that were actually a promotional item from the Chicken Little movie when it was out in theaters. Uh, and I think I wore them to see that movie in 2005. Wow. It's been that long. 15 years. Anyway, we'll come back here tomorrow. We'll have seen Chicken Little and we'll talk about it. See you then.